name is Dr. Brown. I am um, an author. Um, I've self-published um, 11 books. And one of the books that I self-published is about my great great uncle John Briggs, who owned a hotel here in Rockford, Illinois, during the time of 1938 through 1959. Um, if I talk like this, can y'all still hear me? Can I use my teacher voice? Okay, that's gonna be fun. Augusta, Georgia, to the Army, 
as well as how did he find Rockford, Illinois. So, but at the age of 30, John made his way to Waukegan, Illinois as a proprietor of a restaurant, okay? But lo and behold, I began to talk to people at my church, Allen Chapel a &B Church, and so different people from Allen Chapel a &B Church helped help me with this research. I mean, straight up, shout out to Ms. Doris Nolan, who has a key, clear memory of being at the hotel, being at my uncle's parties, just being part of this history that she shared with me, okay? But, um, and also to James Floyd, who was also part of the book community. He let me know that my Uncle John Bridge moved to Rockford with him. So that's the piece of gap that's just missing right here. But from when, when, my, when my Uncle John Bridge lived with um, James Ford and his family from Memphis to Rockford, then he came to Waukegan, uh, Illinois. But in ancestry, he's listed as a proprietor. He is listed as a business owner. And so again, we're talking still Jim Crow. We are talking about a time when segregation was legal. We are talking about a time where here this black man is prospering as well as having established his own business. And then later, 1938, is when he came and purchased the building uh, that was located on the corner of um, Cedar and Court Street. And this is where he became owner of this hotel. And what's intriguing about my research of this hotel, many blacks that migrated from the south to the north during this time the Briggs Hotel was their first living place when they first moved to Rockford. The Briggs Hotel, that's on Rockford's um, fifth ward side, <laughs> was the key place for black socialization and entertainment at the Briggs Hotel, okay? And so um, my uncle also opened up another resort that was located at Lake Koshkinaj. Anybody familiar with Lake Koshkinaj in Wisconsin? So again, this is also information coming from my Alan Chapa A and B family who was giving me this information before I interview. Shout out to Alan Chapa. <laughs> Gave me this history. Okay? And so, but again, here it is, Doris Nolan also giving me this information telling me that she remembers going to Lake Koshkinaj as a visit, as a place to get away, as a place to have fun entertainment. Again, and where it was located, many people from the surrounding areas came to, um, to visit this place. So in summary, I just want to present to you all John Briggs, who is owner of the Briggs Hotel here in Rockford. John Briggs was Rockford's first black hotel owner here at Rockford. His reputation was about business and entertainment. His parties were sought out in this whole region, okay? According to the Crusader newspaper, oh, I spent a lot of time at Rockford Public Library just digging into this information. And so, anybody familiar with what the, the, the Flinger rules were back then? But at the Flinger rules, the rules, all of the, it was those four parties that took place at Bunker, as well as the Briggs Hotel. John Briggs and Booker, T, and Booker Washington Center had a very close connection, okay? It was about that black socialization. It was those parties that took place also bringing in the, soldier, the black soldiers from, um, but over, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But overall, there were many black social clubs that, that had their first meetings at the Briggs Hotel. So, and that's, that's more history to come up. But uh, the Briggs Hotel was the first home for many blacks that migrated, okay? That came to find work here in this area. And another known fact too about um, John Briggs' history, he was listed in the, um, the Green Book because during this time, Briggs had to, when they traveled, be safe. They had the, 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 the Green Book also included hotels where they can stay, places for um, to eat at, where to get gas at, if they were, it, just because of safety, there's so much going on. But again, John Briggs' history, which is Rockford's history, is in the Green Book. Uh, so, 
that's just my quick presentation um, of John Briggs. John Briggs' history is our history. Is Booker is the AARC Booker's history as well and is your history today. Thank you. Just stay tuned, there's more to come. <laughs> stay tuned. Yes. There's more to come. 